from Budapest. Guten Tag. We arrived yesterday. Uh, we went out for a nice dinner, uh, but we're only here for two days again. Uh, and it's very hot, so we're not doing too, too much, but let's get started. I am made to be free. We got up this morning, had a breakfast in the hostel, and then we headed to the House of, Terror. House of Terror. The House of Terror is a museum documenting Nazi and Soviet sort of dark history. Mainly Soviet though. Main, actually, yeah, they skipped over the Nazis like really quick. And there was an audio guide and we love our audio guides. <laughs> But it was like the driest audio guide I've ever heard. But some of them like really dragged on. So it was a good museum. It was kind of neat it to had see. A, had a lot of good like visuals. Yeah. One of the big things though, you couldn't take photos. No photos allowed. So we snuck some because we're rebels. You can't you can't tell us what to do. So here they um, are now. Wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> Me. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> we just snuck a couple here and there so we can show you what it's like inside. I think it's worth going. Don't get two audio guides. If you're gonna get one, but just don't share even it. There's like there's, there's like there's paper, information, yeah. pamphlets. Yeah. Visually, it's a good one, and it's interesting to know these things and see these things and have a history of sort of the dark history of uh, Soviet and and Nazi occupation in Hungary. Uh, but that being said, we are off now to have the famous Hungarian langnos. Langos. It's, it's a fry bread with some toppings on it. And there's apparently a really good one really close by. We've come for our langnos. It's called Mamana. It's called something. This is where we've come. And it's got like stellar reviews. So these are them. I get them in different toppings. It's, uh, it's really good. It's really tasty. Yeah. It's just uh, like fried bread and then there's a like garlic and sour cream and cheese. That's the traditional way. It's the, the original way, the best way. It's hot. It's hot, yeah. It's, it's like super fresh, so we're both like just picking at it. It's so good. Well, that was delicious. Uh, Langos, you gotta try it when you're in Budapest. But now we're having a siesta and then we're joining the walking tour from our hostel. Heading back out into the day, we uh, we're supposed to be joining a walking tour right now, but, but it's not happening. All they're not weekend. happening, and it doesn't happen tomorrow either. So we did a little investigating. We found an app called Smart Guide, and they have free self-guided walking tours that are actually narrated by people. So it's not Rick Steves, but it'll do. We are in Liberty Square as a part of our walking tour here. One, one, the tour isn't actually narrated by anybody. It is just AI voice, which is too bad. But it is actually a fairly decent tour. And we've stumbled across a famous European pastime, second only maybe to football. It's watching cars go in circles. I don't know how they do things in Hungary, but I don't think your stone bench is supposed to be the game. It's like a heated seat for your butt on this stone. Yeah. We're at Parliament. It's a very beautiful building. It is. I was saying that Canada's Parliament's obviously way better, but it's, it's, mm, it's pretty nice. nice. It's gorgeous. Uh, yeah, now we're gonna go along the river. Our little audio guide's okay. I think <laughs> it's, it's nice, I nice route. So, it's, all right. it's up for debate. <laughs> just finished our little walking tour. Um, we kind of explored the pest side of the river today, but now we are heading to dinner. We're gonna go to the same place we went to yesterday because it was really good and decent prices. We are back again where we were yesterday. Oh, Fritchy Papa. But this time we're doing uh, goulash today, not that paprikash, we're doing some goulash. 
get Hungarian while everything's open. With our Hungarian goulash dinner complete. Stuffed. Stuffed, huge portion. Uh, that's it for us for the day. We're going back, shower, relax, maybe watch season two, episode one, House of the Dragon, and then start our day tomorrow. Stacy, bright and early. Good morning. As you can see, I am running solo today. And that's because I'm going to the famous Hungarian baths here in Budapest. Tristan was a little hesitant because it is hot and they're thermal baths, so he wasn't sure if it was worth the money. But I still wanted to come. So let's see if it is. Look how nice it is. So pretty. I came first thing in the morning, so it's less busy too, which is nice. So this is very lovely. Water is warm, but when you get out, it's refreshing. So it's still really nice, even though it's a hot day. And there's some shady areas as well. It's so pretty. I don't know if Tristan would like this though. He's not really a spa guy, but I'm enjoying it. That's for sure. found a cold pool. It's very refreshing. Inside. The outdoor thermal pools on either side of the swimming pool are actually different. This one has like a whirlpool, has a lot more like fountains and stuff going on. It's busier and it's also a cooler pool, which also makes it busier compared to the other one that I was in before. This place is huge. You really, it's kind of fun like exploring to see all the different pools and all the different saunas and steam rooms. My favorite were the aromatherapy steam room and the salt inhalation steam room. They were very nice. Uh, but I'm gonna be meeting up with Tristan soon. So I'm just gonna enjoy this cooler pool for the next little while and then go meet up with Tristan. Did I stumble across here? I'm headed up to meet Stacy right now. And there's like a, I don't even know. You guys doing whips? I feel like I'm gonna get whipped. Getting weirder and weirder. Look at these guys. They look like Mongolian, I don't know. The boys up here with uh, swords and armor. I'm, what have I stumbled onto? Found the other end here. We're here. At, I'm here at the uh, whatever this thing's called. I'm rushing to go meet Stace, but I found the receiving end here. Uh, there's some guys and some crown, and I don't know. I'm gonna have to Google this later. I don't know what's going on. Shoulder down, shoulder down. It is me. I've rejoined with Tristan, and now we're doing a little bit of walking around up in this park kind of area by the thermal bath. Park's really nice. Mm -hmm. After a siesta, a five hour siesta, uh, we're venturing out again. We're gonna be exploring the Buddha side of the river today. But first, we're getting chimney cakes. With the ice cream in them, like real tourists do. Yeah. We got our chimney cakes with ice cream. Stacy got one with pistachio cream, which I just stole a little bit of. Yeah. Which is really good, and I did. I just got regular. So, I'm so excited. We're on the Buddha side, enjoying our little walkabout after our ice cream. And it smells like Lisbon over here. We are trying to make our way up to Buddha Castle. 
Uh, but it's just everything's under construction. We dip these stairs with the elevator, but there's an escalator. But yeah, I don't know how we get up there. Maybe it's down this dark and mysterious tunnel, but that's what we're trying to do right now. Make our way up. It's really pretty up here. Sorry. <laughs> really nice views. And there's elevators that bring you up here. So that was the best part. That we didn't have to walk nice. up any stairs at all. We just took the elevator. Yeah. Twice. Free we took two elevator. elevators to get up here. We are not going into the castle today, the castle museum. We're not going in. Oh, we're just up here to walk around. The plan is we'll be able to enjoy the view uh, as it gets darker and the city like lights up. It should be kind of nice. So that's the plan. That's the end of the day for us. We were up there until the sun went down, up at Fisherman's Bastion. Uh, and then we can look out and see the city lights come on and the parliament lit up is very famous. It's very pretty. But uh, that's it for us in, in Budapest and in Hungary. And tomorrow morning we are out of here. <laughs>